Alright, so in this tutorial I'll show you how to be able to render um, full HD for um, in Premiere Pro so that you may be able to post it on YouTube or Vimeo in the best quality. Um, um, it, there's a lot of confusion about which is the best um, way to go about it but let me just say that there's no specific way but anyway there are a few basic things that um, will make one video render better than the other so such things include the codec type because in this case I'll be advocating for you guys to be using H.264 rather than other codecs such as um, QuickTime, AVI, MPEG you know if you want to strip um, if you want the video to be going online that's the best way to go about it so um, I will show you how to be able to do it and it's really important to know to notice that in Vimeo for example they use a higher bitrate um, as compared to YouTube as compared to YouTube they use a lower bitrate so that's the that's the reason why um, videos on Vimeo have better quality um, and sound too as compared to videos on YouTube so um, let me just go straight to the to the to the to the tutorial so this is our this is my project here I'm doing a piece um, piece video for a contest um, here in my country it's about maintaining peace so these are some video clips I'll just use this to I'll just use that to um, serve as an example and I'll show you how I go about to render it so let me just select a nice frame okay it will go by that frame so first thing just go to file and uh, for lots of people who um, don't have that much knowledge in exporting in high quality when they get to export here they go straight to movie and then it will render in AVI format but the problem with this um, method is that the file will be so huge actually I tried rendering this video it's 1.59 seconds no minutes 1 minute and 59 seconds but it took almost 989 megabytes that's around 1 gigabyte for less than 2 seconds two minutes so the best way to go about it is to use this codec that I'm about to show you it shows very small file sizes no at the end of the day you'll have very small file sizes at the expense of quality you'll also have nice quality to it so go to file export then um, Adobe media encoder this will take um, some few minutes to load but then it's worth it so let's just wait a bit alright so it has loaded now um, you need to realize that uh, the on the right side there is export settings when you click there you'll find the various different um, codecs so first thing you should do go to source here and make sure you click on this crop window and uh, maximize maximize your your area here so until it shows here zero 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 mine I can see there's a four so let me just make sure it's a zero oops oops am I gonna have to start again okay just wait a bit okay so um um Yo, now you can see that my um, on the source where it's written source it matches my composition resolution so 1920 by 1080 all right so go to output do not interlace it if you shoot by a DSLR camera that means that your footage is not is progressive it's not interlaced if your footage is interlaced maybe if you've shot with a with another camera which has interlaced footage that is I not P make sure that it's written uh, you click on the interlace here then it will make your frames look better so click on the interlace on the export settings come to here you'll find h.264 click on it actually the problem here is that when you do that it changes stuff here on the left side so let's just put the crop again 
1920 by 1080 output the interlace alright so on our preset um, we can see here that um, on a summary that's these um, the details on the summary should match the details and the exact specifications of your composition the setting your composition settings they should match with the ones here written in the summary so in my case here it's 1920 by 1080p and I actually showed it on 24 frames per second but in reality that's around 23.976 so let's go here um, on our preset let's not use a preset or alright it's better to just start somewhere I already made my preset here so let's just start somewhere like um, uh, let's start here HDTV 1080p 24 frames per second so that's it let's first check here 1920 let's the interlace these things keep on changing so you should be very careful all right so um my video is pal click on pal um the frame width is right um frame height is okay frame per second 23.976 and um, make sure on field order is progressive if you shot dslr footage or or it's uh, 24 frames and, and 24 frames per second it will automatically show progressive if not on the field order there's an option of upper field and lower field make sure you put the respective one okay on the pixel aspect, aspect ratio mine is widescreen 16 to 9 that's okay change it to square pixels because you shot on widescreen alright profile put baseline and on level here you cannot go for less um, you cannot go for less than 4.2 actually this is a scale of the resolution if the resolution here 1920 by 1080p so let me just say 1080p goes with 4.2 and higher let me repeat that 1080 goes with 4.2 and higher if it was 720 here it will have to be 3.2 I hope that you got that clear otherwise it will render at a different settings totally different settings that and it will mess up your render so make sure that they match 4.2 for 1080 okay so let's get down here on the bitrate encoding that's where there's all the difference to do with quality that's where there's all the difference in this case I will just put um, I will uh, make sure that it's uh, it's two pass and the bit rate it has to be between 7 and 10 otherwise your file will be really crappy in terms of quality and when it gets past 10 it gets jittery so the best thing the best value is around 7 but I'll okay let me just put 7.7 .7 here that should be nice maximum bit rate make sure it does not go past 10 so let's just put 10 there alright set keyframe distance on the advanced settings click on it and in this place in this option here you should match your frame distance your keyframe distance with your frame with your frame rate so my frame rate is 23.976 make sure yours is the same 23.976 although it will round it off to 24 oops why do I keep on doing this let's just wait a bit okay so um, let's check again advanced settings 24 24 alright so that's it you can see that our estimated file size is very little this small 109 MB last time I was doing an export with the movie this thing was almost 1 GB so that's a massive decrease on the audio tab make sure here you go to ASC version uh, version 1 because if you click on this version it will just show frequency up to 32 kilohertz but if you click on version 1 uh, you can see that the frequency changes until 48 so make sure your output channel is on stereo frequency 48 for nice quality audio high on audio quality bitrate here like I said again make sure it goes to 128 for YouTube or uh, 
yeah 128 also vimeo or even 256 is okay but i'll just go with 128 because i'm messing around with the file size too all right um on the advanced settings don't make frequency make sure it's bitrate and that's basically about it on the filters tab if you want to reduce um, noise you can just click on noise reduction there but it will take much of your render time on audio we have done that multiplexer make sure here it's mp4 otherwise it will render for 3gp which is for phones and sometimes you may find um, for ipod too here but anyway make sure it's mp4 and uh, yeah here that's what i was talking about ipod psp so stream compatibility make sure it's on standard mp4 standard others there's not much here it's about ftp um, and servers so just leave that there the best thing once you made this and you're sure you're gonna be using this one for quite some time you can make a preset make it a preset and for this tutorial um, because um, these are render settings for your DSLR for example and you're sure that you're gonna be using these same settings you can just um, you can just save them as DSLR settings for YouTube or Vimeo or whatever you're gonna put there okay self filter settings self other tasks so the best thing um the easiest way as you if you want to render this thing again you'll just click on h.264 for example let's just disarrange it and um, let's change to h.264 you can see that it has changed here even the source if you change to your custom um, preset the one that we just made DSLR settings for YouTube you can see that all changes are coming rightly where they're supposed to be also our frame width height pixels and frame rate everything comes the same so it's better to make a couple of presets so that you don't waste a lot of time here so after that we can see that um, our estimated file size is something that we can handle so that's basically it just click on OK and uh, save wherever you want to save it I'll just um, make um, I'll just call it documentary um, uh, and click on save and it will start to render and it will start to render and that's it those are your be best settings for YouTube um, for this for this tutorial um, oh okay with these settings um, the file will be really small and uh, the quality will also be great and it will be very nice as compared to other methods of s of rendering you can also use QuickTime but it's not better as compared to this one so that's it please um, comment on this video watch it um, share it with your friends and rate it and also subscribe to my channel in case of any questions please post them on the comment section thank you